guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about salicylic acid, a very common acne ingredient found in many different um, creams and cleansers and washes that we use, and talk a little bit about it, um, where it comes from, why it helps acne, how it helps acne, who it's for, and all those nitty gritty details. Um, this is just one uh, cleanser that I got from CVS. If you guys want a review of this, you can click on the super spiffy annotation link right here, um, kind of like a, for a blast of the past to this. Um, it's just an acne wash that contains salicylic acid in 2%. So first off, let's talk a little bit about this salicylic acid. Um, first off, where does it come from? Salicylic acid is actually a natural chemical, and it comes from the willow bark. And what is willow bark? Have you ever heard of the weeping willow? You know, that tree that like grows by golf courses. Um, the willow tree has actually been around for ages, and it also helps with not only salicylic, but with aspirin. Um, back in the way back when bears in pain, like bears who had injuries, would actually go and chew on the bark and the leaves of this tree. And that's how, you know, indigenous people found out that the weeping willow tree actually had some pain-killing properties to it. And over time, science has been able to take that extract from the tree and turn it into aspirin, which is actually a painkiller that we use today. In addition, the willow tree gives us salicylic acid, which is an acid that we can derive from that tree that helps to break down the skin. Now, salicylic acid is not only found in acne products, but in other skin products as well. For instance, um, if you ever have like those foot calluses or like those big big fungal infections and calluses, there's actually products containing 17% of salicylic acid. Comes in like a little dropper, and you're meant to squeeze that up and drop that onto your foot, um, and then it'll help to break down that skin until the bacteria and the fungus is gone. Now, obviously, we're not going to use 17% salicylic acid on our face. We see it a lot in acne creams and washes in probably 2 to 5% to help us break down that top layer of the skin. As I said, in acne creams, it's usually only about 2 to 5%. And the great thing about salicylic acid is that it's very, very gentle. People with sensitive skin can use salicylic acid and usually not have a problem. Um, there are other acne products and acne ingredients like glycolic and like benzoyl peroxide that work well too, but those tend to have a little bit more side effects. Salicylic acid, the only side effect I've ever heard of it having is a little bit of dryness, and that's only in very, very sensitive individuals that are already dry. Generally, salicylic acid is fine for anyone. Um, if you use it in higher than 2 to 5% and you have dark skin, it could cause a tiny bit of pigmentation, but usually in 2 to 5% you should be fine. Usually this will not dry people out. Um, it's very, very gentle. I haven't really heard of anyone having problems with it. Um, and it's just a very, very gentle ingredient that still does the work. Usually other acne ingredients are much more irritating than salicylic acid. The other good thing is that it doesn't cause sun sensitivity. It still helps break down that outer layer, but it doesn't cause us to need to slap on sunscreen. You should always wear sunscreen every day, but it's not going to be like these antibiotics or benzoyl or glycolic where you can't go in the sun after using it. So next, let's talk a little bit about how and why this works. If we look at the skin, we know that we have seven different layers. In between those layers, this is the top and this is the bottom. In between those layers is a little pore, that little follicle with the hair that gets infected that causes acne. Now, what are the parts of this acne? First part is bacteria. There's bacteria in here. Second part, there's oil. Third part, there's a plug or a clog at the top. And the fourth part is that there's inflammation and there's toxins in our blood that cause this inflammation. How salicylic acid works is that we have our pimple here, the pimple's inflamed, there's bacteria in there, there's oil, there's inflammation, and this clog. Salicylic acid goes on here and helps to remove this clog, break it down. It's not an exfoliator, um, not really an exfoliator, but it's good at gently removing that clog just a little bit to help other products penetrate better and to help remove this pimple. Now, here's the problem. We've removed this top layer a little bit, but we still have the bacteria, we still have the oil, and we still have this inflammation. Salicylic acid will not help with the bacteria. It is not an antibacterial product. Sometimes you'll see salicylic combined with other things that are antibacterial, which will help kill that bacteria. Also, salicylic acid does not help remove the oil. Um, occasionally, it can kind of wash the oil out of there, but it's really not meant to get rid of oil. Um, it can be a little bit of drying, so if you have really, really, really sensitive dry skin, it might cause a little bit more oil. Generally not. 
And then the other thing is that it does not help inflammation. Good thing is that it does not make inflammation worse. Products like benzoyl peroxide can cause the inflammation to be aggravated a little bit and make that inflammation a little bit worse, um, which is not a good thing if you have very inflamed acne. But something like salicylic acid won't help the inflammation, but it won't cause it or aggravate it, which is a very, very good thing. Overall, salicylic is a product in acne cleansers that is great with the use of other products. If you're going to use salicylic acid alone, the only person that's going to help is that person who gets one or two pimples on that time of the month. If you have substantial acne, if you have regular pimples, if you have blackheads, um, if you have cystic acne, it's not going to do much, okay, alone. Um, if you have any other than a little bit of one or two pimples every single whatever time of the month, this is not really going to help you all that much alone. What's great about salicylic acid is that it works so well with other products. If you have moderate or anything other than very, very minor acne, you're going to need to use salicylic acid in combination with something else because salicylic acid only works on that top layer of skin. Still need to use something for the bacteria, still need to use something for the oil, and you still need to use something for the inflammation. Lots of products have other things in it, but that's a little bit about how salicylic works and why it won't work just alone. Salicylic really can't penetrate deep enough to help cystic acne unless you use a serum or a penetrator before it. Um, for whiteheads, it's the best. For blackheads, this stuff is great at breaking down blackheads, but it will not cause the blackhead to just jump out of the pore and fly away and be free. You know what I mean? You're going to have to find another way to get the blackhead out of there, but this will help break down that just very, very top area. Now, alone, really not going to do much in your skincare routine unless you have one or two pimples, but with other ingredients that will fix those other problems of the pimple, those pimple problems that contribute to acne, um, it's definitely a great addition to a skincare routine. I hope this answers your question a little bit about salicylic acid, a little bit about how it works and what it does. Um, again, I think it's gentle, it's good for anyone, but you will need to use it in combination with other products if you have any kind of acne other than just one or two pimples. Um, I would love to hear more of your questions and concerns if you guys have them. If you know something else about salicylic acid or if you disagree with anything I say, be sure to let me know what that is. Um, also, post a comment or a video response, even better, and tell me your experience with salicylic acid. Did you like it? Did you hate it? How did it work for you? what products did you try, fill a review of them, and help everybody else out there so that we can all be smart little people and make smart little spiffy decisions. So I love you guys so much. I hope this helped, and I look forward to talking to you all in the very next video. I feel very accomplished when saying that, and I don't know why, because today has actually been a very lazy day, um, but that's okay. I'll probably go play with my cat and go for a walk, and then I'll feel accomplished or clean my room. That's, that's something I need to do. Anyways, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.